This is the time of year when every shot, turnover, and rebound can become a highlight that will be replayed for decades. Underdogs, upsets, these are the moments that make college basketball so special. ThePostGame.com presents The Magic of March, brought to you by Xfinity. For a school that size to finish number one in the country, undefeated in the regular season, it's just unprecedented. They had a number one player, the number one coach, and when you think about the facilities that they had and the things that they had to overcome, I really don't think we're ever going to see anything like that again. In the 2003-2004 season, Little St. Joseph's University in Philadelphia went undefeated in the regular season and became the number one ranked team in the nation. They were led by who eventually became the National Player of the Year, the most decorated college basketball player in history. Jameer Nelson, number 14, St. Joseph's University Hall of Fame and all-star NBA player. Jameer decided to come back to school and nobody at his level plays four years anymore. It just doesn't happen. It was a situation where, well, how good can they really be? Jameer Nelson, his backcourt mate, Delonte West, he was crafty, he was a tenacious competitor, and he and Jameer brought such a unique dynamic to that team. Pat Carroll was arguably one of the best players and shooters in the country that season. And then we had two really unselfish uh, post players in Dwayne Jones and John Bryant that really understood their roles. I've seen over 900 St. Joe basketball games, and I had never seen a team play at the level that they were playing, scoring with really beautifully eye-pleasing basketball, like ball movement and open shots, extra pass, unselfish. Dwayne Lee, Chester Kytus, Dave Mallon, Tyrone Barley, everybody did something new each night. Phil Martelli put together a magical hug around the team to keep them insulated and focused on the task at hand. After the NFL season was over, the nation and the media start to focus on who is this other undefeated team. After going 27-0 in the regular season, the Hawks earned a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. The Hawks beat Liberty and then Bob Knight and Texas Tech to reach the Sweet 16. If you make the Sweet 16, you're only playing great teams after that. No one can say you've underachieved. At that point in the season, it is survive in advance. Played against Chris Paul and Wake Forest. It was in East Rutherford at the Meadowlands. Very similarly to Texas Tech, I think everybody felt that we were going to fall that game. An 84-80 victory over the Demon Deacons propelled the Hawks to the Elite Eight against Oklahoma State. There were only two games that year where the Hawks were not the betting favorites. Gonzaga to start the year, again the same thing against Oklahoma State. It was everything you'd want a regional final to be back and forth. You see San Antonio where the Final Four was being held within your grasp. After a Pat Carroll three, St. Joe's was up by one with 30 seconds left to play. Oklahoma State swings it, Pat Carroll dives, maybe misses it by, you know, the length of your index finger, but the pass goes to the wing to John Lucas the third. He makes a shot, he makes a great shot. The game ended. John Lucas III's three-point shot with 6.9 seconds left lifted Oklahoma State to a 64-62 win that ended St. Joe's season in stunning fashion. I don't think anyone affiliated with Philadelphia College Basketball or St. Joe's will ever forget the name John Lucas III. I mean, they had the game won, and then for him to hit that three-point dagger, and for it to end so suddenly and so quickly, it was just like, what happened? You know, it's like this, this team you just didn't think was ever going to lose. For us to lose that way, it didn't seem fair because we played well enough to win. It was just John Lucas made a great shot. Just a special season, memorable, and like the further away from it you get, the more special it is because you're like, man, that might never happen again. Getting off the bus back at the hotel, I mean, literally hundreds, maybe a thousand fans just chanting, thank you, St. Joe's. I cried then, I could cry now. I certainly felt very proud of our team and our school. Certainly the story had been written in ways that to this day are incomparable. The 2004 Elite Eight game is a classic example of the magic of March, brought to you by Xfinity.